Hello, this is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video below. Today I'll be showing you how to make the giant paper hyacinth. All the materials will be listed below the video. I used a regular size hyacinth template but resized to fit one shape on one letter size paper. You could do this with your Cricut, Silhouette, or other cutting machines, and you can print and hand cut for those that don't have a cutting machine. I just cut one on my machine and stacked a bunch of paper and cut by hand. I'll be making 50 of these. Then cut yellow letter size paper into thirds and take the strip and fold in half and cut fringes about halfway and cut off and continue to cut fringes so you will have four pieces of these fringes per strip. You will need a total of 50 of these as well. Next, lightly stroke a darker pink than your pink cardstock paper and brush that along the middle of each petal. It should dry after a few minutes. Once it's dry, grab floral wire and loop the ends to make it perpendicular to the remaining wire. Then take the pink petals and there is this round side and from there cone up the shape and overlap the round tab. Then glue the tab and connect. Make sure the bottom tip of the cone has a small hole and not too big of a hole. Then gently curl each petal back. Next. Take the floral wire and poke through and add glue on the curled floral wire and bring it down, but make sure to catch the wire inside the flower. Then take the yellow fringes and roll up and glue the end and glue the bottom. Then add that into the flower. Repeat this and make 50 total. Then take a bigger PVC pipe and it should fit over your stem PVC pipe. If you are using 3 4 inch PVC pipe as the stem, you could use the 1 inch PVC pipe for the flower part to go over the stem later. With the larger PVC pipe, take masking tape and tape one flower at a time and on the same row, tape 3 to 4 starting from the top. Then cover the masking tape with green crepe paper. Cut a strip of the crepe paper and stretch as you go and use white glue to glue down the ends. You are only covering one row at a time, so go around once on the PVC pipe. Then go a couple inches below and start another row and add three to four flowers and tape. Then cover the tape with crepe paper, continue down the pipe like this, and towards the middle add more where you feel it's empty. You should have all 50 fit on this pipe. If there is leftover pipe, you need to cut off the pipe with PVC pipe cutters. And when you are on the bottom, cut off all the leftover floral wire that sticks out. Next part will be the bottom bulb of the hyacinth and this is optional. You can directly just add this to a stem and base without this bulb and you can go on to the next chapter if you don't want to do this part. If you do want to add the bulb, then find a cube shipping box. Mine was about 12 by 12 by 12. Open up the box and cut strips about 2 to 3 inches wide. Take two pieces and tape them together and cut off a little, then tape the other end to make it into a circle. Then take another two pieces and tape that to the circle and connect the other end on the other side of the circle. Then take another two pieces, tape together, and do the same thing but perpendicular. Then you'll have to do another that crisscrosses in between. You should have four long strips going across and attaching to the bottom circle. Next, take another two pieces and weave it across the center of this horizontally. Round out as you go so it starts shaping like a bulb of the hyacinth on the bottom. Then take smaller pieces and connect in between each layer horizontally and vertically. I also have a tutorial for the regular size hyacinth with the bulb that I will be linking below. 
Next, tape to connect the layers as best as you can, leaving the top for later. The top, since I taped two pieces to connect the strips, I just took apart the tape area to disconnect them and added this smaller circle and retaped the strips onto the circle. Then you could fully cover the whole bulb. Next, get tissue paper and you could use any color tissue paper, but I had this perfect craft color tissue paper. Then I take matte Mod Podge and add it directly on the tape. And I take strips of tissue paper and add Mod Podge on top too and cover the whole bulb. It should take about a couple hours for it to dry, but probably a whole day for it to fully set and you won't be able to see the white glue. If you don't have craft color tissue paper, then you will have to paint it afterwards. This part will be for the base of the giant paper flower so it could stand on its own and the stem. I like to use the Rapid Set Cement Awl and I haven't really experimented with other types of concrete. This one has a light gray finish and smooths on its own. Comes in a smaller box if you want to only make a couple or a bigger bag if you want to make a lot of stands. I'll be using plastic plant saucers that you can find in the plant section as our mold and I'm using an 8 inch size but there are bigger sizes if you want to add multiple flowers in one base. I use duct tape to guide my 3 4 coupler of my 3 4 inch PVC pipe. That will be my stem so that it will come apart to transport in a car. If you are using a different size PVC pipe, get the matching coupler. Add duct tape on only one end of the coupler. These will be found at Home Depot, Lowe's, or on Amazon and I'll try my best to link all of this below the video. Make sure you are being safe and wear gloves and a mask so you don't breathe in the fine dust and safety goggles when working with this. I used about six scoops of these disposable plastic cups but I like to work in small increments. If you do a lot at a time it is harder to mix. You will also have to be quick so it doesn't set while you mix. Then add a little bit of water as you go and mix until you get a pancake consistency. Add more concrete if you need to thicken it. Fill up until you cover just the bottom and add your coupler. I have my coupler connected with a small PVC pipe just so I could hold it on the top. Then fill up a little more until right below the coupler ends. It should take a couple hours to fully set so while we wait for that we will now get the stems ready with PVC pipe. I got a pan, ladle, and funnel from a thrift store that I designated for this and not use for cooking. Then you can find playground sand outside or actually buy a bag of sand. I like to have enough to fill up the pan so I could work on multiple at a time but if you are only making one you could just use a little more than your PVC pipe could hold. Heat it up until you feel the sand is too hot to touch. Then tape one end of the PVC pipe with duct tape and the other side use a funnel and ladle to scoop your sand into the pipe. Then fill to the top and close it up with duct tape. And on the ground you could shape your desired shape. This will look a little different from each flower so shape accordingly. You could use heat gun or even a blow dryer but I felt the heated sand gave me the most even heat without kinking the pipe. Then take the sand back out. Once you have the stems shaped and ready, you could add thicker floral wire where you want your side leaves. I like it somewhere around the middle of the stem and tape down the leftover wire on the sides. Then to cover up the stem, I like to use this green crepe paper that I will be linking below the video and cut a strip about two to three inches in width. Then stretch the strip and add some white glue on the end and start wrapping the stem and add glue every so often so it doesn't unravel. When you get close to the added floral wire, just make sure to glue and carefully cover that area. Then I cut four of these big side leaves that fit a whole 12 by 12 cardstock paper and they need to be paired up. Then add glue around the rim of the leaf with this white glue and I'll be linking that below the video. Make sure to leave an opening on the bottom of the leaves, then sandwich the pair on top and match up the edges. Then fold down the middle and it's okay if it doesn't perfectly meet down the middle and shape the pointy tips by curling it out and just adding some shape to these leaves. Then you could add the leaves to the floral wire on the stem and add your hyacinth on top over the smaller PVC pipe stem 
These are going to be perfect for spring and Easter. Please like this video below and subscribe. Thank you for watching.